and gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank D Battle. Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. In the blue corner, captained by Darren, we have Team Nightmare. It's a fight so tight, even Lady Luck don't know what to write. Let's get it on! The fans are going absolutely wild! And now, it's time for round two of the Rank D Contest! The teams are ready to go! The fans are ready to go! Heck, I'm ready to go! Let's hear it for round two! In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team! In the blue corner, captained by Darcy, we have the Deadheads. It's a fight so tight, even Lady Luck don't know what to write. Let's get it on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the final round. The winner of this epic battle will walk away as the Rank D Monster Arena Champion. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. In the blue corner, Captain by Deagle, hypertension warning, hits the Psychos! Down into the pit they go. Which side wins? Nobody knows. Let's get it on!
a most spectacular performance. This is the prize for winning a rank D. Congratulations! <laughs> and they say everyone gets stuck at rank D. But not you, eh? Ragazzo! You become the incredible monster team owner already! What can I say? Soon, maybe I'll be running out of prizes. But not yet. For your victory prize today, I'll let you keep the three more monsters in reserve. Now you have the nine monsters to choose from for your team. As they say, variety is the life of spices. I wish you the buona fortuna for your next fight, eh? Ragazzo.
you, Cash. I so cannot stand you. We're both orphans, remember? Dad took us in when we were still babies. <laughs> that means we don't know who's actually older. For all you know, I could be your older sister. Yeah, and for all I know, maybe you're actually a boy. <sighs> Whatever, Carrie. Why don't you just chill out? I'm giving you an equal chance. Like, how many times do we have to go over this? We do the contest. The winner inherits the Golden family's fortune. End of story. Wait, don't tell me. You're too scared to go to the Dragon Graveyard, even with your bodyguards. <laughs> As if. Don't be more of a jerk than usual, Cash. We have guests. They could be applying for the bodyguard position. Oh, hello there. Uh, please forgive our manners. Welcome to the Golden Mansion. Let me explain the situation. 
our foster father has passed away. Now, we're in the middle of deciding which of us will take control of his fortune. Hmm, maybe arguing is a better term? My sister and I are like oil and water. We never agree on anything. That's why we've decided to have a trial. A contest, basically. Whoever completes it and returns to town first will be declared the winner! The trial itself is a golding family tradition. It's like a test of a potential heir's worthiness. All one has to do is enter the dragon graveyard and obtain the mark of the family on their hands. Sounds easy, right? Not. Nah. The dragon graveyard is full of monsters. We could even die, you know? So, we've agreed to hire bodyguards to protect us during the competition. The only thing is, we haven't been able to find bodyguards of the right caliber. But, I've got a good feeling about you travelers. What do you say, little sister? I hate to say it, but I agree. Wow! This is a first. Well, there you have it. Okay then, if we're all in agreement, why don't you go ahead and choose which of our backs you'd like to cover? The loser will use bodyguards picked from the mansion staff. Won't you, Carrie? Whatever, you're going down either way, Cash. Sure, sister. Oh. And one more thing, you'll be compensated regardless of who wins. So, don't worry about pay. Fair enough. I'll take some of our men as bodyguards. And before I forget... You rang? Would you be so kind as to prepare a nice dinner for our guests tonight? We should do our best to put them on equal footing with the guards. Don't you... Do you... Always have to be so patronizing, Cash. But you won't hear me complaining about having a nice dinner. Diamond! First this camp for a now this! We're on a banquet row! King Trode's going to miss out again, though. Well, what he don't know won't hurt him. I've decided to let it go this time because I overslept too. We have my jerk of a brother to thank for that. I got the maid to confess that she put sleeping powder in our food last night, at Cash's order. Look, there isn't any time to discuss it now. We can still catch up with him. Come on! I know you need to get yourselves ready, but I hate waiting around! 
So, I'm going on ahead. Meet me at the entrance to the Dragon Graveyard. And don't keep me waiting. Hmm.